Hey, it's Times Coke 11 with another updated Rex and Pyra. Well, Pyra isn't updated, just Rex, which I did for the Xenoblade 2 first year anniversary in the beginning of December. But I just can't show him without Pyra, so. I wanted to have Mithra done finally, but I still haven't gotten around to making Mithra. So, first thing is, I added belts finally. I somehow never realized after updating him multiple times before that I forgot to draw on the belts. So that was part of why the minifigure looked so terrible before. And the biggest change is that I made a 3D vest instead of a drawn on vest. And it just looks so much better now. I made the vest out of paper and tape. I forgot to draw on the back of it. So this also let me make the regular body as just plain with the, I guess it's a blue unitard that he's wearing. And I also added on his anchor as a 3D papercraft because that also didn't look right just having it drawn onto the arm and I darkened the hair if you didn't see the old Rex then I'll go over about how I made the Aegis sword it's a customized Chima sword it's an alligator slash raven sword with red lightsaber blade and the sword was cut into you can kind of see what remains of it underneath and then these parts were added on with paper and tape or I think just tape actually I don't think I used any paper I just used tape and then painted of course And then Pyra. Nothing new with Pyra. Last time she was updated was when I just gave her more accurate skin color from getting new markers. So I'm still planning to eventually make Mithra. Hopefully I'll get around to it. And if you want to make me see... I mean... Okay, that definitely came out wrong. If you want me to make a specific Lego Pokemon or minifigure like these, then see commission info on Twitter. So, see you next time!